Welcome back to your number one stop for PSO2, New Genesis, Gameplay, How To, and all that jazz. And today, uh, we are here, we are back, and uh, we are going to be looking at a, a brand new interview uh, that Hawaii ended up putting out on the official uh, PSO2 website. Uh, well, he is, of course, interviewing the dev team about some more information about the upcoming uh, new uh, Kavaris, I believe that's how it pronounced. The ice area of PSO2 New Genesis and some of the stuff we can look forward to. So let's go ahead, let's hop into this and let's start breaking down uh, this interview. Of course, it will be a link below if you want to check it out uh, for yourself and read over everything that, you know, the fluff of it, I guess. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into this. So, of course, to start off, the main question here is, what exactly is uh, the theme behind uh, this expansion? And, of course, the dev team have a little bit of insight here for that, with it being, and I quote, the main theme for the region is a killing for a family and friends. Player will understand more after seeing Aya, Mana, and a new friend, Kakaka? I don't know. Uh, and this other name, uh, Facing Hardship in Kavaris. So this is kind of like an interesting uh, case heel of diving into friends and family. Not exactly helping the anime trope heel of PSO. Uh, but I wonder if this is actually going to, you know, dive into any amount as in, you know, such as a cult, the leader of Central, who's sending out to that region to find uh, the doctor that he lost contact with. I wonder if that's going to end up being... Maybe kin to him, or maybe there's a drip before into the bottle and sit to relationship heal. Uh, so we will see, <laughs> see where they go. But uh, well, I hope you're ready for some more anime tropes in your future heal. And then a small little insight about the logo heal. Uh, not a lot of interest, only real thing coming out of this is, of course, uh, with Retain having uh, the warm boss at it logo. Uh, this is indeed is going to be the boss of the region, uh, but sadly, not more information than that, which we will see if this is going to be a, a nut or a bot that is going to be like a mindless doll, or we finally got to start getting some uh, context uh, to some of the villains. We'll have to wait and see, but yeah, at least it is Elphi. The logo is, of course, one of the big bads, so know that, I guess. And then we move into a court breaking down something I originally said. I am happy to be verified here. That, of course, have to tie with the snowboarding action we have seen. I originally thought that were the beginning of some mini games that were going to be introduced into PSO2. And, of course, Hawaii have a, a little a snippet to add here with, of course, uh, there seem to be uh, some mini game sequence uh, gameplay during my playtest. I believe it was called Bill Racing in which uh, you won a Pacific course, and on a Epilation field, uh, can you tell us uh, what inspired you to add to the game? So, right out of the gate, yes, there were mini games coming, and that is indeed a mini game, but that's not it. We, we got some more insight here coming from the development team, of course, and I quote, We want to intimate uh, some uh, multiplayer content outside of combat for a while now, with this update, player will have a new way to enjoy open field casually alone or with other. A multiple multiple player can compete against each other in races. So there's they'll something. And solo player can play a, a time attack mode and try to break the fasted record. So obviously this seems like we are gonna have indeed a stump competition excess at style heal, as well as a leap from this sounding like a leaderboard. We're gonna have to see if this gonna be pretty much quad soluble leaderboard or this specifically with friends or they gonna be a uh, one of them cases like other leaderboard we have seen in the past where it's solely up to you and you just trying to beat your time. Hopefully, this is more along the lines of being able to do more than that because honestly, I would like to see all three introduced here uh, with a solo leaderboard, a solo uh, leaderboard, as well as competing with your friend. Hopefully that's what that means, but nonetheless, I am happy to verify my original theory ended up being correct here. Uh, but that not all here. We also have, once again, and I quote, uh, By the way, uh, there will not be limited to the Cabal. Uh, 
uh, there will be a two in Alio and one in Watain. We are we got some exciting tasks as well, and we hope player I can a wind down between adventures and a battle. So that's gonna be the question: What exactly is gonna be for Alio and Watain? Is it gonna be roughly the same type of a uh, mini game, or is there something different there? We will have to wait and see, but well, it's official. In this expansion, we are officially getting mini games inside of New Genesis, and I am super excited for that. And then we have ourselves a breakdown of what exactly is going to be the requirement to actually end a Kavar's heal now, and not, not anything too surprising here. So, to start off, you will, of course, have to complete the main story of Retain to get access to this. Once again, not surprising, same as it was in Alio. Uh, but we also have a, a bell minimum uh, requirement as far of uh, what type of level you probably need to be looking at here uh, to actually enter as well. So as of this, uh, enemies in Kavari will be at, at least level 37. So there you go, 37 Ohio. And player need a above a level 33 with a battle power of 1813. Uh, so, bell minimum, you're looking at 33, with enemies at 37, and then, of course, our battle power heal. Uh, so, if you haven't already got that, uh, be sure to get your hands on that before June. Uh, that way, you can enter uh, the new region as soon as humanly possible. And then, we got us uh, some insight into exactly what was happening uh, with uh, the city slack camp for the new expansion. Uh, which, as some of you probably seen in the trailer, it seemed abandoned, but originally, at least I personally thought it would just mainly did not want to show characters or NPCs, uh, since they were mainly just previewing the event. Uh, but no, war-wise, it had been abandoned, and the place is completely empty. So, in return, does that mean we only gonna have roughly three characters in this expansion? It's going to be interesting to see if we actually going to be getting other NPCs that will be joining over the course of the story. Or exactly how they're going to do this, especially when it comes to like client order and side missions. Because let's be honest, we can't exactly have like 40, 50 side quests just limited uh, to uh, the two siblings. So it's going to be interesting to see how they're going to work. Is it going to be one of them cases of NPCs are finally going to be start gathering, or I shouldn't say gathering, but put out to the region. Is it just gonna be like talking to like kiosks or uh, to dark quests? Uh, so yeah, I don't know. But as you can tell from the picture, we do have a monitor uh, like they would dip away. Uh, of course, like videos or consoles and other stuff. Uh, so I'll personally, once again, no verification here, but I foresee this being more the camp of once we complete the story, more than likely NPCs will start moving in, and who knows, maybe Quiet Orders is just going to be an in-game situation in this expansion. we we'll have to wait and see, but yeah, it is officially abandoned, so don't expect to see a lot of NPC running around. But a little bit farther down in the interview here, uh, not only is the whole NPC thing a little strange of not having proper NPC, we are going to have a stand-in in some cases here, and also we got also a little bit of lore stuff. Uh, coming out of this as well. Uh, so to start off, it seems like there is going to be robots hanging around. Let's see if they end up being anything more than computer queens. But nonetheless, uh, as once again, I quote from Hawaii. I also wonder if there was a reason the NPCs in the shops are all robots. And we do have a statement here. So for all you Lord people, that might be something for you. So coming from the dev team, we have the story behind this. Is the robots uh, was in Kavaris uh, region before Ox was sent from Central City. So, right there, very heavily implying that the robots predate any of the actual NPC or human characters. But, like, continue. They were lost and uh, wounded and wandering aimlessly until the Ox came upon them. After studying them, the Ox discovered they had a shopkeeping function. And so the robot attend to shops now. So now, but the question, who made the robots? Uh, why were they shops? And is this, is this actual locked up? Or is it like, uh, locked up built around budget? We will see. Or they could be the fourth hint 
Of course, uh, the dolls, since the dolls are very much implied to also be robots. Uh, maybe, maybe orcs are not exactly from the planet after all. And, uh, the dolls or the robots, uh, obviously might have come before any of the NPCs. So, interesting insight there. We will see what comes of that, if at all, in this expansion beyond that. And, of course, Hawaii Hill coming in, and I quote, I am curious, can we ride any of the robot to move around the region? Which... Sadly, we can't wait to get all hopes and dreams kind of ruined here. Which is, of course, sadly, no mount coming to New Genesis as of now. But let's go ahead and break down the statement of there is currently no plan to make them into mount. However, we are planning to really motion change where player can ride on them to dash and glide in the future. So, once again... Sadly, no mounts. Look like we are stuck with our proton shields or wappy shield for the time being. Or whatever type of random item or mount that you can create as a player going through, you know, a court messing with your character. But sadly, no official mounts quite yet. Because, uh, uh, honestly, I get motion changed up. Technically, doesn't count. But, but yeah. A little sad, but maybe maybe one day. Sega and PSO will get into the mount game, but for the time being, sadly, we are going to be walking on our feet for the time being. But not only are we getting verification that there will not be any mounts in the new expansion, but there will, as of now, never will be any mounts at all. And I quote here once again, any a future like mount uh, that will enable player to move faster than uh, the regular proton dash will throw out the balance of the game. So if we were to elite something that would Zimmel a, a mount in NGS, it would have to be in form of motion change. If we release a, a factor vehicle or mount, it will limit it to certain areas as we did with the 14 boards. So yeah, if you are someone who enjoyed collecting mounts or anything of that sort, Sadly, that not going to ever come to NGS at the time of the video anyway. We will see if they change in the future. More than likely, it probably won't since uh, we didn't exactly have them in PSO beyond as any data heal outside of some quests and sorting of regions. Uh, so don't expect to be running around in an AIS anytime soon. And uh, yeah, a little sad, but at the same time, not surprising here. And then the four all new uh, style content coming in uh, with the ability of being able to pick up items and throw them at enemies or crates and whatnot. We saw that during the headline stream. And it uh, seemed like as a now from this interview is they are not only going to be you for certain uh, moments in time, but they will also uh, be you for, of course, uh, trial events as well as, of course, uh, the team are looking into it for future endeavors. Uh, so it looked like that mechanic is going to be one of the mechanics that are going to stick around and probably evolve over time. Uh, but just know the whole Troy action uh, will be coming pretty much a, a standard heal. But for the time being, it's going to be mainly for quests and, of course, uh, trial missions as well. So, still that. A little more information. Nothing too grand. But, you know, a little bit more is always a welcome on that one. And then we have also a little bit of a footnote here about co-op trial. Sadly, yeah, not the type of co-op you might be thinking of here. We have always seen this popping up a little bit, at least in Alio anyway. And I don't remember any other taint, but the co-op trial they are talking about here is, of course, the other NPC characters showing up and helping you with combat. Uh, that seemed like it's going to become more of a thing in this update. Uh, but we will see how far they take this, but you're more likely you're going to start seeing a, a lot more NPC character uh, running around helping you uh, doing certain trials. So, that's cool, I guess. And now we are starting to get into some a little bit of story synopsis here uh, coming in here. Nothing too out of ordinary, more, more like probably what we know from the headline stream. Uh, but we do have a small little note here, uh, which is a core tied uh, to like miniature events. Uh, that we have always seen, we saw this always pop up in Alio uh, with uh, with helping out Anya, and it seemed like that is going to be continuing onward. Uh, since at Data Hill, uh, we decided releasing a regular mini event in update from April onward. 
uh, previously a, a deeper look into the main character and an event of players into the world of NGS. So, look like them little miniature stories are not going to go anywhere. They are going to keep coming and affect probably the net one in August. It looked like uh, we will see if this actually going to matter in the end. Are they still going to be like little five minute thing that doesn't really add too much? Uh, since this is seem like they're going to get a little more deeper, but I get time will only tell on that one. And uh, hopefully, they will add more context uh, to characters in the universe and world building. But, but yeah, the Elite going to continue on with a little mini intro uh, events and update to the story. So I get to look forward to that uh, once again in April. And from here, we move into what we can actually affect. Uh, for what type of battle power we're going to be looking at, as well as how this is going to operate for returning players or players that are a little behind, as well as our side mission with our task. So to start off with, uh, out of the gate here, that doesn't mean they're going to be the highest that you're going to get to, but at least a ballpark range of what you can affect. Uh, we start off with, of course, the Battle D of Purple Triggers uh, being locked as a now. To a 2,744 battle power, so that elite what we're gonna be aiming for to enter the battle dia in New Region. So hopefully uh, that will go good. Also, as far like returning players, in as they state here, as far helping them out, and I quote once again here uh, to make it easier for players who took a break after completing the story and retain, we have prepared a tat that will allow them to gain any more affiliate before they had a two a cavalit, which kind of don't seem like probably by the end of the month, maybe only in June, depending on the relief date of this, uh, we are going to have our supplementary affiliate tasks added. We will see how good this ends up being. But nonetheless, if you have taken a break, look like you are going to have a way to level up before uh, cavalit actually release. And then on top of that, uh, cavalit will have more than 50 a side task available. So at least we got an idea of how much side content is available in this expansion, which is I want to say a little bit more than Wattain. I I don't know off the top of my head, but I feel like Wattain will probably more like what twenty to thirty side tasks if we don't count uh, the repeatable stuff that came later. Uh, so fifty and whatnot uh, seem to be pretty awesome. So we might actually have some decent content to do. Uh, what we actually get into Kavalis. And then we, of course, have a little bit of breakdown when it comes to uh, the actual uh, level cap here. Of course, with the level cap going up to 60. And, of course, uh, we'll be heading up uh, to 65 in October. Uh, so, we are going to have a little bit of a gap here. But, hey, we at least know where we're going to be whooply setting uh, by October Hill. So there you go on that one. So we're going to be getting what is that? Wubbly 25 new level, give or take, before October. And then when it comes to actually leveling, we got also some good new coming in here. And I quote, for gaining a billion, here we have in turn of making it easier to train your character, we will be lowering the amount of on a billion that get reducted of when the enemy is at least five level higher than the player. So when we turn more affiliate, any of the enemies are a little higher and you don't got to worry about that. I, I they put a reduction happening. Uh, so that going to be beginning we move. So that means more affiliates. In addition, uh, the only affiliate of reduction will be will move entirely in battle dia yellow. Uh, so in we turn, uh, you do not got to worry about uh, actually going into battle dia uh, for yellow triggers actually being less because of what level you are. Uh, so it seemed like uh, implying here that a court battle dia going to get a set amount of billion that's going to be earned in one way or another. Uh, so that is fantastic. That actually give a little more reason uh, to do yellow triggers, especially if you're at that level or very quote to it. Uh, so that is a, a really good change. And then we get into, of course, skills heal, some rebalancing, not surprising heal. Uh, but the main thing of interest heal is, of course, a tied uh, to a brand of new skills. So, as stated heal, when asked, are there plans for any new skill to get added? 
And I quote here, yes, we will introduce Otto Quack Gear in NGET headline broadcast schedule for the end of May, pre torn in for the latest info. So, yeah, it looks like we are going to be getting a uh, brand new Quack Gear coming in. Uh, will it be in Kavala? It might be a little before then. Uh, but yeah, we can look forward to that uh, in the headline stream in May, which I will be covering. So, so there you go. More techniques and guilds are coming in very, very soon. And as far as new origin quests, we do have verification that we will be getting two new ones. One of them is, as uh, they stayed here, is kind of keeping it a secret for the time being for fuller reason. But another one uh, where we are going to use new mechanics. I'm affecting that probably being tied to the whole toy and items around. Uh, but out of the gate, we can leap bet uh, two more origin quests that are coming in into the rotation here for Cabalists. And then a very interesting mechanic coming into play here uh, with, of course, areas inside the new region is going to actually uh, be dangerous to you as a player. And you will take damage over time for actually being in the environment. Uh, so the way they are talking about here to actually uh, deal with it and to make sure you can afford the region going to be taken care of in a few ways. They spoke of at least three ways that you can do it at that moment. With of course, one of them uh, being by uh, feeding uh, the regional mag for this area will give you a boot to cold temperature. Another way is, as they are stating, is of course by using items. Uh, so we will see what that turn into outside of uh, mag up that probably also going to be like food up, I imagine. And then of course, also the other way is by getting your hands on a, a brand new augment heal. But the augment actually have a cat to it. Well, if you want to farm the augment so you can actually afford it, they're easier without the mag or the food or items. Uh, you will, of course, have to go into the dangerous area and fight enemies up there to actually get the item to drop. Uh, so, we finally don't get some elemental damage coming in in the environment and also introducing a, a way for you to actually upgrade your character for certain temperatures. We will see this also roll into the volcano area. You would think it would, especially with the introduction, uh, but we will have to wait and see. So, uh, yeah, this is interesting. This is interesting to be like you're not just running around completely really nearly without having to worry about anything. So in certain area, you got the temperature as well as the enemy to compete with. And then we have some more information about the new weapons that are coming in with the six star series here and are for a hint of something more as well as something from bait PSO2 here. Uh, with, of course, I'm talking about the new weapons and acting about weapons down the line that will be more powerful. And uh, they have a, a little bit of a breakdown here. And I'm going to go ahead and quote this once again with, of course, I'm saying, uh, why we are preparing more powerful weapon in the future. You will need to use your current one to meet the requirement for when you get them. So this is very much seeming to be implying a mechanic from PSO2. Uh, well, you have to uh, get a weapon to a percentage, like for 30, 35, whatever, and you would take it to an NPC, also known as Zig, and trade that weapon in with some other currency as well to unlock a higher version of that weapon or a weapon that is a little bit more powerful that you could only get by trading to the NPC. That what this is sounding like? Well, there was some like version of the weapon that later down the line, you know, you're going to add like an armor final or something to it. You're going to evolve Pokemon tile. I don't think it's going to go that way. I think it's going to be more like Zig. So this is interesting nonetheless. And uh, it's good to see once again, if it is what I think it is for more mechanic from bait PSO to make your way into a new Genesis. So interesting. And now we are getting into the really good stuff here since we do have a insight into, of course, uh, the auto sell function as well as a, a debt counter for quests. So let's go ahead and discuss, of course, the auto sell function. Nothing in this is stating one way or another if uh, it's still going to be tied to premium. Since they did talk about that, like briefly, who knows? They have changed. Once again, they're not saying. Uh, but auto selling will be coming in the Kavala update 
as well as when it comes to item drop, uh, item drop ability or four stars or less is going to start decreasing, so you won't be seeing them nearly as much elite and cabal. We will see if that count across the board or not, but for the time being, it seems like it's going to be cabal and not going to be dropping anything below a four stars heal. And of course, more Masetta is going to be added in its place, and they also state. Uh, that the gold and silver variants of swords and armor for upgrading, they will stay roughly about the same. Uh, but the biggest thing here is, of course, being able to uh, replay story event and quests. So let's go ahead and discuss this as uh, they state here. Uh, we also plan to build a quest counter where player will be able to replay a story event and quests. The future will also be uh, strongly required by our. Uh, requested by all players in the future we will add limited time quests uh, to the counter so keep an eye out uh, so this is very much seeming like the deck counter from pso2 uh, well whenever you pick a activity or area uh, you will of course see all the quests in that area and more than likely will have them on a 24 hour timer because uh, I believe the majority of them in bait PSO, I believe with a 24-hour timer. Let me know in the comment if I'm wrong about that, but I believe that what it was. And it seemed like this is going to be a good way to complete quests, not only uh, to get a refresher on the main story, but also being able to hopefully grind up some affiliate to help with leveling. Uh, since having it all tied to battle sectors is not exactly working out right now. Uh, so this is great. I've been wanting something of that type for a while, and it sounds like it's going to be pretty much identical uh, to PSO2, which is fantastic. And then, of course, for all you guys who uh, want to customize your character any further, we are going to be getting some new and improved faces uh, coming in here. So you're going to be able to change around some more stuff uh, in any more detail, as well as, of course, as far as like, the new character concern with uh, hell and items and that type of stuff will be in a etchy quatch. So, yeah, that is all good. I approve of this. So, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the last little bit, shall we? And the last little bit here is nothing too much here other than thank yous and whatnot. Uh, but we do have an idea of well, the development is seemed to be going here. Uh, with it, of course, being moving into being a little bit more focused on new player activities. Uh, which is something we've been needing. We've been needing other activity at new players or returning or coin player. Uh, so it seemed like we are going to start fanning out on a lot of the replay value, a lot of like the mini game stuff, as we have seen from the rest of this interview. Uh, so yeah, Cabal it could become something really great. And I am very much starting to get any more excited. Uh, for that, because it seems like we are starting to get uh, some of the most promising things and some of the main things I know I've been asking for and I have seen other people ask for as well. So overall, this interview is a fantastic. Hopefully they can nail the landing of this stuff in June and in the foreseeable future after. We will have to wait and see. Uh, but if you are interested in checking uh, this out, I will of course have a link in the description so you can read over the whole interview. The interview is really, really long. I've been recording almost an hour now. Let's see how long I can cut this down to. And uh, yeah, a lot of interesting stuff. And uh, we will see what comes of it. Uh, when Cavalry once again launched in June. As of now, we still don't have a that date. Any, uh, I know the majority of people believe it. I believe it's going to be the 8th, 8th or 9th of June. Uh, since that is when a lot of all time quests right now will be a filing. We will see, uh, but nonetheless, I imagine we will probably see a date, hopefully, at the net headline stream uh, that will be happening in a few weeks. And once again, I will be covering it here on YouTube as well at twitch.tv slash Troy uh, So make sure you do thumbs up, subscribe, hit all the bells so you don't miss out on that. And uh, before I head on out of here, I would like to give a giant thank you to everybody that's supporting me either through membership here by subscribing over on uh, Twitch or by coming on over to uh, patreon.com slash macon. Thank you, thank you, my dudes. And with that, I'm going to have my work cut out editing in this, and I will go ahead and see you all in the comments. <laughs>